Hello. My name is Richard. Welcome to OnCNC.com. This is normally going to be run on my Patreon channel. And what I'm here to do is educate you on stepper motors. Stepper motors are no great mystery. Once you associate uh, the different types and know what they're about, you can identify them readily. This one here is a four-wire bipolar. It can be used with a bipolar driver only. This is the simplest of all of them. It has the fewer, fewest wires, the fewest things to go wrong. To reverse the default direction that this, this motor turns, if you build your project and it's running the wrong way, simply switch the two wires on the stepper driver for A and lowercase a. Just turn, just turn them around and the default direction will be reversed. My very first project was a four axis foam cutter and I got surplus motors. Five wires are kind of an oddball. They can only be used in unipolar and only with a unipolar controller. Unipolar controllers, good ones, are kind of scarce. Um, I recommend one that chops the current. For any controller I recommend, recommend a uh, driver that chops the current. But unipolar controllers that do that are getting kind of hard to come by. I'll give you a source later on in the documentation. But be it known that uh, Unipolar may be, a, may be a problem for some of you. This is a six wire bipolar. Well, it's bipolar configured, but it's a, it's a unipolar motor. The only thing you don't do is connect the center taps. Works just like the four wire. There's no, no difference in, in this configuration between this and a four wire. I just show you this, this, the center taps just so you can see that they're there and they're not connected. Reversing is the same for all stepper motors. Shift the A for the lowercase a and you're, you're, you're running the opposite direction. Now this is the same six wire stepper motor internally set up to be used with a unipolar stepper driver. The only difference is those center taps are where it hooks, hooks to your, your uh, motor supply voltage and how it steps is by grounding each leg individually. Like I say, you, you might not have a unipolar controller or stepper driver in your future, but you never know. You might, want, you might have bought a set of motors you got a good price on, and if, you, if you're unipolar, if you have unipolar motors, you can go either way. You can use a bipolar or a unipolar. That's the, and that's the beauty of having them. I have four wire, five wire, six wire, and eight wire motors. Don't know how that happened, but I have one set of each. This is eight wire in a bipolar configuration where the, where the coils are in parallel with each other. This will give you better high speed performance, more torque on the high end. Now, if you need more torque on the low end, you can wire them in series. As you see, there's no connection except to each other on the center tabs. And that'll give you better low end. However, if you're one of the fortunates who wound up with a unipolar controller, you can do this. and use it as it was designed to run. And that's about all there is on the motors. Beyond that, there's just controllers. And as far as unipolar controllers, the only one I know right now that uh, is readily, <coughs> readily available with a chopper for current is a Hobby CNC. I looked around on eBay, I couldn't find anything except, except uh, things that were archaic that require you to run to run a resistor bank 
which I don't think you want to heat your room with your with your CNC device. I think you'd rather save that current and power in the power bill and put it in the motor. But I'll get in I get into how the, how the current chopping drivers work later in another video. That's about all there is. If you have any questions on my video, if I left you sitting out in the cold somewhere and, and you need to know something more, please ask. That's how I know how to do these. I'm just starting out. I'm a video virgin. Thank you and good day.